All good things must come to an end, and sadly this is about to be the case for Nintendo's 3DS and Wii U eShops. The eShops will be closing their doors in March 2023, and unfortunately they'll be taking with them some incredible games that you can't get anywhere else. There are approximately 600 3DS and 450 Wii U titles that weren't able to get physical releases, meaning that the only way you can get them is through the eShop, and not for much longer. There are heaps of games on the eShop that still have a lot of life to give, and we hate the idea of these games being lost forever, so we've made a list of the best ones to save from the digital abyss. Don't forget to save us from the digital abyss by giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel if you're new. Go on, do it now. We'll wait for you. All good? Sweet. Let's kick things off then. Harmonite is a rhythm platformer brought to you by the creators of Pokemon, so you know it's going to be good. As you can imagine, the game is entirely based around music. You play as a boy named Tempo, and your goal is to earn enough magical notes to pass each level. The game automatically runs for you, so all you have to worry about is hitting enemies and dodging attacks all to the beat of the music. These kind of games can be difficult, especially if you're lacking in the rhythm department. But the soundtrack is so upbeat and infectious that it's easy to slip into the groove of Harmonite. Shin Megami Tensei is a series that I regret only discovering on the Switch with its fifth entry. SMT5 quickly became one of my most loved games of all time, so you know I was going to go back and try out SMT4 and its sequel Apocalypse on the 3DS. Can you guess how disappointed I was when I couldn't find a physical? Pretty disappointed. Now this title is a little different from some of the others on this list, as you can find physical versions of it in both the US and Japan. But thanks to the 3DS's stupid region lock, these don't work on all the systems. Not to mention that they're also bloody expensive these days. The Shin Megami Tensei games are classic turn-based RPGs with a dark and menacing story to match. Plus, you get to raise, fight, and fuse demons. What more could you want? If you don't have a US or Japanese 3DS, please don't miss out on Shin Megami Tensei. It is such an underrated series. Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on the Move is a deceivingly fun spin-off title. It's still a little bit challenging, but not so hard that you'll find your 3DS soaring out of your second story window. It's kind of like a Tetris RPG. You have to help your character reach the end of the course, and the paths are incomplete, but you're given blocks to complete them, hopefully before your minis fall to their deaths. In true teacher style, you're given blocks that don't fit and a strict time frame, so it can be a little bit stressful, but it's mostly just fun. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a really popular series of visual novel adventure games. A lot of these games have been ported onto other systems, but there are still two titles that are stuck on the 3DS without physicals in the West. These are Dual Destinies, and Spirit of Justice. These games only got physicals in Japan, and thanks to that pesky region lock again, they won't work anywhere else. So if you're a fan of the Ace Attorney games, then you better pick these up before they're gone for good. If you're a Kirby fan, and let's be honest, who isn't, then Kirby's Blowout Blast is a must-buy on the 3DS eShop. Any Kirby game is going to be fun, and while this isn't the best Kirby game ever, the pseudo 3D viewpoint and scrolling level design is an improvement from some other Kirby games. The gameplay is very simple and pretty much just involves clearing the screen of enemies, but it's Kirby and it's digital only, so get on it quickly. If you like Nintendo's Punch-Out, then you might also like Sakura Samurai The Art of the Sword. What a sick name for a video game. It takes all of the basic dodging and countering aspects from Punch-Out but builds upon it a little by including more enemies into the mix. Apart from being a samurai themed RPG, which let's be honest, already makes it awesome, it's also got this really unique predominant mechanic that makes cherry blossom trees bloom in game. So the more you walk around in real life with your 3DS, the more cherry blossom goodness you get to experience. This title doesn't have the best graphics, but it's the 3DS. So don't miss out on it. It is definitely a must buy before the eShops go down next year. So Xenoblade Chronicles X is available physically, but the eShop has some DLC that dramatically improves the game's performance. The digital version comes with the DLC pre-installed already, but if you have the physical version and haven't played it yet for some odd reason, make sure that you download the DLC before March. 
The DLC helps assets load in faster, improves the frame rate, and makes the load times faster. Xenoblade Chronicles X is one of the best games on the system, so why wouldn't you want to play the best version possible? Art Academy Home Studio is a drawing program on the Wii U. I know, I know, drawing program, but hear us out because it's actually not half bad. It has grid patterns, undo and redo buttons, and tons of other tools that make drawing easier than in real life. There are heaps of different materials you can choose from, like paint, pencil, and pastels. Plus, the textures are actually really lifelike. Art Academy Home Studio would be a great tool if you're looking to pick up something like Procreate, but can't really afford the hefty price tag just yet. And if me, the ultimate illiterate in visual arts, can enjoy it, then I think you will too. Pushmo World is another one of those wholesome Nintendo games that we've all grown to love, but we think that this one is especially underrated. Pushmo, or Pull Blocks in Europe and Australia, is a light-hearted puzzle adventure game where you have to push and pull blocks around to make your way through the level. Mellow is adorable, the colours are vibrant and the soundtrack is charming, the whole experience is really quite enjoyable. And you don't want this little guy to be lost forever, do you? Save him. <laughs> Affordable Space Adventures is a genius indie game that probably has the most interesting use for the Wii U's gamepad than any other game on the system. Here the gamepad actually becomes the cockpit unit for your little spaceship. It gives you full control over the ship's assets like the lights, engine and missiles, and also gives you information on how to make it past certain obstacles during your space adventures. For example, you might come across enemies that are particularly sensitive to sound. So instead of going in guns blazing, you'll have to use the gamepad to find a way to silently sneak around. Affordable Space Adventures makes use of the Wii U's hardware in such a unique and creative way, and the writing is also hilarious. It's such a quirky and innovative game, and by an indie dev as well. It would honestly be so sad to see it go. And it is going, so it's gonna be sad. There are so many games on the 3DS and Wii U eShops that finding a good one can be overwhelming, but fortunately for you guys, you have us. <laughs> no matter what one of these games you choose to try, we're sure that you'll enjoy it. This is just our list of some of the best digital games to pick up on these systems. But if we've missed any of your favorite 3DS and Wii U digital only titles, please let us know in the comments below. Us, like many others, or hoarding digital titles before we can't hoard no more. As usual though, don't forget to follow us on all of the other social media garbage. Links to all that is in the description below. But for now, thank you so much for watching and we'll see all of you lovely people next week. Bye. Which makes, which makes, Hello. <laughs> What's pla- <laughs> what, What's pla- I don't know what pla- <laughs> I love pla- <laughs> What's a pla- Nothing starts with pla- <laughs> <laughs>